What we've tried to do at Tesla is, you know, stir up this idea of an electric revolution. Tesla is a startup. We're still based in Silicon Valley. So although we may be large by Silicon Valley standards, 4,000 people, we're very small by automotive industry standards. It was founded about 10 years ago, a little less than 10 years ago, by a series of entrepreneurs, among them Elon Musk. Well, Tesla started with a, a big idea to really um, rid the, the, the world's use of the addiction to fossil fuel. And you know, our, our, our big long-term mission is to really bring electric vehicles to uh, the mass market. It started with uh, a couple guys, you know, innovating this idea of battery technology, and that quickly escalated into uh, kind of a proof of concept in vehicles that ultimately turned into what people know as the, the Tesla Roadster, which really was the first legitimate long-range sports car electric vehicle. And that really proved that the concept worked. Ultra high performance, much more than anybody thought an electric vehicle uh, could achieve. Tesla decided that the next steps needed to be you know, a more practically usable car and that we needed to develop that car ourselves at design, engineering, manufacturing, uh, hence the Model S. The Model S is, uh, is, is packs a lot of innovation. Besides having an all electric powertrain with the largest battery available, 85 kilowatt hours, it is the first all aluminum car made in North America. Zero to 60 has been, you know, clocked by people at 3.9 seconds and, you know, 100% green. All our interaction, a human-machine interface, is through a 17-inch touchscreen, which includes all the functions for the cars. And uh, it's extremely intuitive. It revolutionizes the way that you interact and interface with a vehicle. Now we've created a vehicle where two to three to four years into the ownership experience, we can continually update, configure, and personalize your experience in the car and improve it over time. It is definitely odd to be a startup in the automotive industry because there is no recent automotive company which has been successful. We're a small company producing cars on a global market. It's, it's a very difficult industry to be in. Uh, it's extremely capital intensive, and so it's not very propitious uh, for startups. So we have to be very judicious in the, in the way we develop, and that's why we took this approach of starting with a very low volume, uh, high price and super high performance car, and then as we grow and as we uh, generate profit, we'll migrate towards more widely distributed vehicles and lower cost. The fascinating part about working at Tesla is you know, our bread and butter is a completely green vehicle. What I personally enjoy the most is the ability to uh, drive innovation very hard and very fast. I think that amount of energy is, you know, it's, it's alluring, it draws you in. It's, it's kind of, I, I, to me, it's like a garage band playing on a big stage. There's just a kind of a raw um, energy and, and kind of naive attitude uh, towards it. We, we don't take status quo for granted. You know, we always challenge, we're always being challenged to approach things from kind of a basic principle perspective. And I've never felt that at another automotive company. You know, we're, we're constantly pioneering different ideas that would be deemed, you know, risky perhaps at other companies. And I think that's, that's alluring and so always look for um, something innovative coming from Tesla. If you like to drive and if you like to have fun with the car, you will get more fun with an electric car than with an internal combustion engine. The car with 
all-electric driving capability can provide no compromises, not only no compromises, but a great driving experience.